Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you guys my experience with the new Wayne Goss Mascara, the waterproof mascara. I am going to be showing you guys how I apply this, how it looks on one eye with mascara versus without. I'm gonna give you a little bit of the details because I don't have all the details because I kind of got this early. <laughs> You guys know the drill, but I will be leaving any additional info in my description box along with Wayne's video as well. And I want to say thank you once again for allowing me to be in this campaign. It's just, it's such an honor and I get excited every single time. So I'm going to tell you what I know and then I'm going to tell you how I feel after having used it for a week and... I also wore it to the lake where I burnt my head. <laughs> All right, so this is called the Waterproof Mascara and the shade is black. No extra tag lines here, not a ton of foolishness or you know gimmicky lines or anything like that. From what I understand, he wanted this mascara to do three simple things. Create longer lashes, have a super black formula, and make it waterproof. And the reason for the waterproof is so that it will hold your curl. A lot of people love to curl their lashes, but then they fall. I don't always, I do now, I have started curling my lashes. However, I don't always. And before I ever even used a lash torture device, <laughs> that's what I used to call them, I would have mascaras that would literally make my lashes fall down. I do have a little bit of a natural curl to my lashes and I still, they would fall and that irks my nerves. So whether or not I use a lash curler or I just go in with a mascara, I do not want my lashes to fall. That's a big pet peeve for me. Wayne says, the brush glides effortlessly through the lashes, forming defined and elongated lashes. The short bristles work magically on tiny lashes, especially those ones right up in the front. Easily handling the precise application without smearing or clumping because there's no excess on the brush. Now this brush is very different than anything I can remember. So, I open this and this is what I see. It's shorter, it has like the little spiky um, bristles that sometimes I don't like because they hurt underneath my lashes, like right in that waterline. This one, I don't have that at all and I think it's because they're not as long as some other traditional ones. Like, let me get out. This one initially hurt me after a while of using it. I was able to get it to uh, <laughs> be nicer. <laughs> I think I just got used to holding it in a certain position. But look at the differences in these wands. I love the size of this wand. It is so easy to get all the way to this inner portion where I can have some troubles, especially with larger brushes. I have often actually poked my eye trying to get to that inner corner. With this, I find it to lengthen my lashes, just like he says. It adds a little bit of volume, but definitely more on the defining side and lengthening. I love how I can just apply and apply and apply and apply, because that's not always true with especially waterproof mascaras because they tend to be just a little bit drier. This is like the perfect formula. It's not too dry, it's not too wet, and it's not where I feel like in two weeks it's going to start to dry out on me. I mean, I've already had it open for a week and the formula hasn't really changed. It's just perfect. And I just, I'm, I'm able to really maneuver this small brush around. I can even use this, like typically I go in with this mascara, the MAC Extend and Play Giga Black, and this is a tubing mascara. But I love to take this wand and I'll go on the back side of my lashes because usually the mascara that I'm using does not allow for you to get behind your lashes. This one does, I can get 
behind my lashes and add that extra little length because whenever you just go on the front, you can miss a little bit of the tips of your lashes. So that's something I do all the time. And I didn't bring out that mascara to go and do that. Also, I'm wearing this on my lower lash line because it's a waterproof mascara. I'm not worried about it smudging. And let me tell you, the day that I wore it to the lake, I was really, really tired. I mean, it just, <laughs> the lake, the sun, everything, the heat, it really just makes you exhausted. So I actually went to bed like eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I slept in my makeup. I know I don't like almost ever do that. It's very rare, but I woke up, my lashes were still up. They were still up, still separated. They didn't even like get all stuck together and I didn't have anything on my lower lash line. I was like, what is going on? This is so good. And that's when I really got excited. I was already excited about the way the mascara went on, but to have it look that good <laughs> after sleeping, and I am not someone who sleeps on my back, <laughs> I was thoroughly impressed. But anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the demo. Oh, and I do wanna mention, I use a lash serum. So I get asked that all the time. Are your lashes real? Do you have extensions? Are you wearing y yada yada? I do use and have been using for years a lash enhancing serum. I am actually an affiliate with them. That information is in my description box, but I just wanna make that known. Even though I have long lashes, let me tell you, some mascaras can make my lashes look terrible. But I do wanna make sure you guys know, if you didn't already, that I use a lash enhancing serum. All right, let's get into the demo. As you guys can see, you can put this on with one layer and just have a very nice natural lash. And I really like that look when I'm not wearing a liner. But the fact that my lashes still look this long with the winged liner is a true testament to the mascara. I'm able to build it up. It didn't get clumpy. It didn't get messy. I didn't, and also I don't keep dipping into the component. I might have dipped one time extra, but that's it. I don't like to go and add and add and add while also going back into the tube. Usually I go back and forth on my eyes, dip in once more, go back and forth, and then I'm done. So I just wanna let you guys know that I was not like repeatedly going back into the tube. This is the effect. They are amazing and they are truly waterproof and it definitely holds your lashes up. You're not gonna have to worry about your lashes falling. This is one of the best, I know I am friends with Wayne, but this is definitely one of the best waterproof mascaras I have used, and I would actually love to see this brush and what kind of formula he would do for a non-waterproof, because I love this brush and I think that he would probably create something amazing when it comes to non-waterproof, because I don't like to wear waterproof every single day. Anywho, I think it's amazing. I think he did a great job, and I just wanna say thank you again, both to him and to all of you for watching. I love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.